Welcome to this, the third video in the Ranarek Studio reporting series, Standard Reporting. The file name of a report is generated automatically. It changes depending on whether the test is executed from a recording module or from a test suite. For a run from a test suite, the file name starts with the test suite's name. For a run from a recording, the file name starts with the recording name. The second part of the report name is a combination of the date and time the report is generated. The report header displays a range of useful data and summarizes the test results. You are given basic information about the system and test data. Any warnings and errors are numbered. A pie chart summarizes the test result. Only test cases are counted. Smart folders are ignored but can be seen in the report details. A successful test is indicated by a green circle, a failed by a red circle, and a mixture of the two when some test cases have passed and others have not. Please note in the on-screen example, the third of eight test cases failed, meaning that the remaining five were blocked. As can be seen on screen, the report is structured in the same way as the test suite and follows the same structure as the recording module. Information is then divided into four columns. Time. By default, this column displays the relative execution time measured from the beginning of the test run. The second column shows the report level of the action performed. The category column shows the action type performed report message contains more detailed information as to what happened during the execution of the action. In case of a failure the report will also include two screenshots, one at the moment of failure and one right before the failure occurred. To set run iterations click on the test case or smart folder and use the file menu, view and properties. Insert the number of iterations required. When we run the test we now see that actions are performed twice and the report indicates that both iterations were successful. Video reporting is switched off by default. You can enable and configure in report settings. Simply click on the test suite and use the context menu and select properties. A dialog box appears. Click on the report tab. You can record all test cases or only those which have failed. We will select all cases. Click apply and OK. When we run the test this time the report gives us an option to watch a video for either of the iterations. In the next video in the Ranarex Studio reporting series, we will be looking at customizing reports.